లీడ్ చేయటం లేదు లీడ్ చేయటం లేదు ప్రిన్సిపల్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కన్సెప్ట్ బిఫోర్ ఇట్ హాస్ బిన్ డిరైవ్డ్ బిఫోర్ నాట్ లెస్ దాన్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ నాట్ లెస్ దాన్ the lee chatley principle has been given still we are applying very important rule let's see what it is telling the very first lee chatley principle is applicable to equilibrium reactions in equilibrium reactions to gaseous molecules both the reactant and product must be in gaseous state then only we can apply for example let's consider our havers process nitrogen combines with hydrogen to form ammonia 3h2 n2 plus 3h2 gives 2nh3 yes children is a forward reaction reverse reaction nitrogen combined with hydrogen to form ammonia is the forward reaction ammonia dissociates to form nitrogen and hydrogen is the reverse reaction yes suppose look here initially 1 plus 3 4 moles are there initially how many moles 4 moles product how many moles are there 2 moles initially 4 moles finally 2 moles if you move in forward direction 4 moles become 2 moles that is in forward reaction number of moles decreases if you move in the reverse way 2 moles become 4 moles number of moles increases so in the forward reaction number of moles decreases in reverse reaction number of moles increases <coughs> mole number of moles understood up to this shall we go to the next concept number of moles <coughs> n means number of moles suppose one balloon having some gas inside that initially it may have very less volume if you blow air into this automatically its volume increases why the volume of balloon increases because more air molecules are entering more air particles are entering into that so when number of moles increases pressure also increases that's why its volume increases so shall i tell like this number of moles directly proportional to the pressure understood when number of moles increases pressure also increases or i am proportional to p pressure depends on number of moles now shall i tell like this in forward reaction number of moles decreases pressure also decreases in the reverse reaction number of moles increases pressure also increases i'll explain this with uh, one box like this in forward reaction number of moles decreases so pressure also decreases any doubt understood in reverse reaction number of moles increases pressure also increases it is taken place inside the system inside the system in forward reaction number of moles decreases so pressure decreases in reverse reaction number of moles increases so pressure also increases now i will tell you suppose you want to increase the pressure over the system what will you do you apply the pressure what is the aim of applying more pressure the pressure has to be increased but these chemical reactions which are under uh, 
equilibrium process of course the reverse reactions if you apply any of the change the system tends to act in opposite way it annuls a n n u l annul annul means acting in the opposite way so all the chemical equations reversible equations under chemical equilibrium will act in the opposite way the annul the effect which acts in the opposite way if you increase the pressure it tends to decrease the pressure if you increase the temperature it tends to decrease the temperature it is called lee chartier principle now look here i am going to increase the pressure what's up my aim what's up what's my aim i want to increase the pressure that's why i am applying more pressure pressure increases as i have told you all the chemical reactions under equilibrium act in opposite way if we increase the pressure system tends to decrease the pressure where the decrease in pressure occurs in forward reaction so forward reaction favors <coughs> once again i tell you if we increase the pressure system tends to decrease the pressure and favors the forward reaction one case another case if we decrease the pressure system tends to increase the pressure and favors reverse reaction so it's very clearly understood that at the low pressure at the, at the high pressure forward reaction occurs at the low pressure reverse reaction occurs we have got the condition for the gas gas equation to take place in the case of ammonia the very high pressure is needed that is 300 to 500 atmosphere pressure is needed a very high pressure so this is called effect of pressure which has been studied over the ammonia haber's process shall i go for temperature now i am going to deal with effect of temperature how the temperature has been predicted with the help of lee chatelier principle in forward reaction suppose temperature is liberated temperature increases in reverse reaction temperature decreases what's happening in forward reaction temperature increases in reverse reaction temperature decreases it is called exothermic reaction <coughs> the forward reaction is called exothermic reaction the reverse reaction is called endothermic reaction in forward reaction heat is liberated so temperature increases in reverse reaction the temperature decreases that's why it is called endothermic reaction endo and exothermic reactions this is happening inside the system suppose you are increasing the temperature according to lee chartier principle system tends to decrease the temperature where the decrease in temperature occurs reverse reaction so if you increase the temperature system tends to decrease the temperature and favors reverse reaction if you decrease the temperature system tends to increase and favors forward reaction now we have got the condition that at low temperature the forward reaction occurs low temperature means if you keep very low temperature the reaction may not take place so they are having an optimum temperature for ebers process 500 degree to 550 degree c okay so the effect of pressure effect of temperature have been considered then now we are pass on to number of moles that is effect of concentration over this suppose this are the reactant reactant and this one is the product to ammonia reactant and products are there initially say 100 percent products are there zero reactant lee chartley has claimed that always the reaction moves from higher concentration to the lower concentration so reactant to product suppose 
it decreases by 80 and 20. Now, 80% of reactant and 20% of product, which is very larger, reactant or product? Reactant. So, in which direction reaction proceeds? From reactant to product. Now, it becomes 60 and 40. Look here, when uh, number of reactant decreases, product increases. Now, in which direction reaction proceeds? Higher to lower. Reactant to product. At some time, both become 50 and 50. <coughs> this is called equilibrium reaction. Now, listen. You are getting 40 and 60. Reactant become less than that of product. In which direction reaction proceeds? From product to the reactant. Reverse reaction occurs, which we don't want. We need only the forward reaction. Since the reaction has been proceeded in the reverse direction, we don't want the reverse reaction. How to stop the reverse reaction? Okay, stopping also very difficult. How to get more product always? Very simple. Yes, guess. How to get more product? We need only forward reaction. In forward reaction only, we are getting more ammonia. Now the reverse reaction is going to take place. How to avoid this? Uh, yes, what you are telling is exactly correct. Of course, the molecule which has been formed has to be removed. The product has to be removed from that. Yes, you are correct, exactly. If you remove this and keep it as zero always, Always the reaction proceeds from reactant to product side. Yes, you can tell that uh, more uh, reactant could have been added. Yes, it's a very good option. You can add more reactant. But uh, it's an optional one. Here, it has a, the initial concentration is the fixed one. So it has not been allowed to add more reactant. So what is the another way? The product has to be removed as it is formed. So only forward reaction occurs. This is the Lee Chatelier concept for Ebers process. The, it's a very important five mark question application of Lee Chatelier principle over Ebers process. <coughs>